Jared Diamond, The Third Chimpanzee, The Evolution and Future of the Human Animal. Step into the fascinating realm of human evolution in The Third Chimpanzee, The Evolution and Future of the Human Animal, authored by Jared Diamond. This book explores our genetic similarities with primates, our distinct characteristics, the development of human language, and the racial and societal progressions experienced by human civilization. Diamond sheds light on intriguing perspectives, diving into how our human nature led to various practices of genocide and shedding the romanticized ideology of primitive societies, in harmony with nature. Discover how our evolution brought us to our present state and ponder the insightful understanding of the importance of coexistence. The Human-Chimp Connection Scientists have discovered that humans share a strikingly high percentage of genes with chimpanzees, 98.6%, and are even classified by some in the same genus. While we share many physical and behavioral similarities with our ape cousins, it's the small amount of genetic tools that distinguish us and enabled our unique human traits like language, art, and technology. Despite being so closely related, the few defining characteristics of humans set us apart in the animal kingdom. Tracing the Origins of Human Language Human language developed over time, with anatomical changes ushering a great leap forward in human evolution. While early humans lacked the capacity for speech, the evolution of their larynx, tongue, and associated muscle structure allowed for a range of sounds that could be manipulated to produce language. With language, humans could communicate images, ideas, and instructions more effectively, leading to the development of art and technology. The process began with Australopithecus robustus and Australopithecus africanus around 3 million years ago, which evolved into Homo habilis and then into Homo erectus. Around 500,000 years ago, Homo erectus evolved into Homo sapiens. This development granted humans with the ability to speak and communicate ideas, leading to a significant shift in their evolution. Therefore, language was the driving force that allowed humans to make significant strides throughout history. Understanding the Origins of Language the idea that sophisticated human language was unique to humans had been held for centuries. However, recent scientific research has revealed that animal communication methods are not so distant from human language. The vervet monkey, for instance, has come closest to developing a language. They react with different vocalizations to different stimuli in their environment and use distinct sounds to communicate in various social contexts. Humans, too, have a similar origin when it comes to developing languages. Simple languages known as pigeons emerged during the first wave of European colonization when traders from different lands found it difficult to communicate. Pigeons later evolved into creoles, which share similarities in grammar with human languages all over the globe, indicating a possible parallelism in their development. This understanding of language origins raises questions about other aspects of human diversity, such as racial characteristics. The Science of Racial Characteristics Racial characteristics have developed through a combination of natural and sexual selection, according to scientific theories. While natural selection explains some features that aid survival, sexual selection fills in the gaps by perpetuating traits that increase the likelihood of finding a mate within a population. The gradual development of distinct racial characteristics is most likely a result of both theories. Rethinking our past. Agriculture and the quality of life. Contrary to popular belief, recent studies show that hunter-gatherers lived better lives than early farmers. Through analysis of the remaining populations, researchers found that hunters had plenty of leisure time and worked no harder than farmers. The amount of time spent gathering food among hunter-gatherers was limited, with Kalahari Bushmen working just 12 to 19 hours per week. Furthermore, archaeological evidence shows that early farmers were less healthy than their hunter-gatherer counterparts. Skeletal remains from Greece and Turkey reveal that the height of hunter-gatherers averaged at 172 cm, compared to just 157 cm among farmers from the same region. The adoption of agriculture allowed for larger populations and a greater food supply, 
which led to the displacement of healthier hunter-gatherer communities. As farming supplanted hunting and gathering, agriculture became the primary source of food and propelled the progression of technology and culture due to the larger population. This shifts the traditional view of agriculture as an improvement to quality of life, encouraging rethinking of past assumptions. The Horrors of Genocide Genocide is not just a rare occurrence committed by perverted psychopaths, it's a recurring human phenomenon that has happened across different times and places. Many of these cases of brutality have been forgotten, like the almost exterminated native Tasmanians in the early 1800s, while others were larger in scale, like the Armenian Genocide in Turkey, where nearly a million people were killed in two years. But genocide is not just something that happens to others, those who perpetrate it often justify their actions, and anyone could be susceptible to genocidal tendencies. The Hutus, for example, claimed self-defense when they killed over 500,000 Tutsis in the Rwandan genocide, while the Indonesians justified killing close to a million supposed communist sympathizers because of their religious and political beliefs. If we want to stop this violence, we need to understand that it is part of our nature and find ways to prevent it from happening again. Human Exploitation of the Environment Primitive societies viewed as noble savages are not what they seem. Research shows that from the Maori in New Zealand to the ancient ones in New Mexico, human societies have always posed a threat to the environment. The Maori are now known to have killed the already endangered moa, while the ancient one's exploitation of the environment backfired on them, leading to the collapse of their civilization. These cases are evidence that humans have always exploited the environment, and the belief that past societies were champions of environmentalism is romanticized blather. We must be aware of our capacity to cause devastating damage to the planet to avoid catastrophic negligence. Jared Diamond's The Third Chimpanzee offers an enthralling perspective on the evolution and future of the human animal. As you journey through our shared genetic makeup with primates, you'll learn that the human species is much more closely related to chimpanzees than you might have thought. The revolutionary development of human language, the role of natural and sexual selection in shaping racial characteristics, and the debate over the merits of agriculture versus hunter-gatherer lifestyles offer thought-provoking insights. By gaining an awareness of our past, we can comprehend why some aspects of human nature involve destruction, genocide, and environmental exploitation. The third chimpanzee encourages us to learn from the past and see the potential for a brighter future.